Something that I absolutely love doing with children of all ages is simply going outside and collecting special things that they find outside, natural items. So anything that takes their fancy that's obvious, that's a, uh, something that's a, you know, a nice shape or an interesting colour, but also interesting textures. So on one hand, it's just a great way to have discussions with kids about what these things are and why they're here and what use they have in the natural world. Like for example, a seed, you know, grows trees or for example. Um, but it also, these are our ultimate loose parts. They're free, they're everywhere. They're quite, it's always very calming for children to be outside. And it means that when we use these materials for other things, when we come back inside or when we're building with them or making with them, they have ownership over these objects because they found them. It was intriguing and interesting to them already. So if we build and make using objects that they like, they're much more likely to be engaged. So just going and collecting things that are interesting, like little scientists out and about, and then come back and have a look at them. I mean, you can sort them, you can talk about different colours, different shapes, which one is the longest, which one is the shortest. And then simply by adding a couple of simple materials, we can create all sorts of kind of craft activities out of these materials. So I've got some wool and I've got some masking tape. So for example, uh, we might want to start tying things together. And this is really good for fine motor skills, for kids to practice tying together. I mean, children nowadays don't even really get a chance to tie their shoes very often, so they don't get that much time to really test out their fine motor skills with things like string. So it's really great for them to, to have that opportunity. So we can practice just winding it around, we can practice tying knots, and we can even say, create a character. We could create a doll, you know, put a head on this, you know, this could be the head and it could be my character. Or maybe I could make, I don't know, a magic wand. Magic wands quite, work quite well. So if we're going to make a magic wand, I'll just get a stick and then maybe I'll attach some leaves to the, to the top of it to give it, it, to give it the extra magic. So I'll, um, I'll just grab this tape here, get some masking tape very simply wrapping it around the stalk of the leaf. Look already, it's one thing together and already it's, this object has taken on a whole new world. I found, it, found we found a feather outside, so which is beautiful to think about the sensory uh, textures of feathers, you know, tickling, what does it feel like on different parts of your body, <sighs> practicing blowing it. So let's see if we can uh, stick that feather on. Let's put it on the other end. You can also create beautiful mobiles that hang, you know, especially around this time of year, around autumn. You've got all the different sort of colored leaves. So you can, you know, hang them up from the window, something like this, connecting other bits together. So here we have it. Here could, this could be our magic wand. Abracadabra, I'm going to turn you into a monkey or whatever they want to play. And I'll find this is really great for, um, for boys and girls, all sorts, you know, for children who are really active and children who are really quiet, all sorts of kids really enjoy this. And remember, you know, loose parts, natural loose parts and free, they're the ultimate toys for children. Calming, imaginative, creative and sensory. So enjoy your magic ones.